Hello guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Meg, I do fashion lifestyle videos every single week. Check out my Instagram where I post daily. As promised, I'm doing a part two to my Zara haul. If you haven't checked out part one, I will put it above. Part one was more casual clothes and this is gonna be more kind of dressy June 21st vibes. A lot more colors, a lot more frills, a lot more dresses. Just to disclaim, just cause Zara do so many great things doesn't mean you have to buy everything. Double check and see what you've already got in your spring wardrobe from previous years. And then of course you can top up as you need to, but basically just don't over consume for the sake of it. Try and be resourceful and invest and things that you know are going to last you years and years so let's get into it Just for reference, I'm a 6 to 8 on the top and I tend to be a 10 on the bottom unless it's really stretchy, then I will be an 8. Okay, so here is the first dress and I'm not gonna lie, I'm really not feeling it. Like, I feel so silly in this dress. I think on a different body, it would look amazing, but just because of my proportions, it does not clip to the right places. I feel like every time I step, it's like riding up, it's one of those ones. I also feel like it gives me no shape, like it gives me a kind of straight down vibe because it doesn't really cinch in here at all. But if it did, it would look so, so cute. And this is the dress from the side and I do really like the back of it, I think it's so cute but it's just not for me i'm pairing everything with my asos bag because i forgot to order one from zara so it just adds a little bit more to the outfits let me know what you think guys i do love the square neck and i love the frills i love the whole concept of the dress but just not the fit of it this may be the most flattering dress i've ever tried on in my life like it hooks me in all the right places. I got to the size small and I would say it comes up as a small small on the waist but the rest of it fits absolutely perfect. But to be fair, I think because I blow a lot, this kind of feels a bit like shapewear but not crazy restricting. So I actually think it fits absolutely perfect. The only downside I have on this is that the straps are a little bit loose so you end up seeing your bra straps. But you could literally wear this with a strapless bra and it would be completely fine. But I'm just shook at how flattering it is. Like it really flatters the waist and the beauty. This is the back so as you can see it's got a cute little slit in it and then it's got lining down the center and i think this color is beautiful but i am a black dress girl like i will pick black over everything so i'm kind of tempted to get this in black as like my staple black dress um but yeah i think this is amazing and obviously if you are prone to bloating you could literally tie something around your waist like a white shirt you can also put something over your shoulders i just think this is such a versatile piece that you can style up and style down This is literally the cutest forever, like I'm obsessed with it. It's quite unusual for me. I absolutely love the top to bits. As you can see, it is cut out on this side and it's also cut out on the back as well. I just love the color, the fit, the uniqueness. I'm obsessed. I feel like this I'd probably wear with like some high-waisted jeans or some flared trousers and that would be such a vibe. Like I'm literally so happy with this top. I'm definitely gonna be keeping it. And then these are also so cute. So it looks a bit like a skirt, but it's actually shorts, but they've just got a layer over them, which I think is perfect. If you're like me and you're really conscious of wearing like skirts because you're worried it's gonna blow up. Like I just, literally my worst nightmare. So I feel like when they're built in, it just helps me out so much. Also considering keeping this because it is so flattering, fits like an absolute dream. And I feel like, again, it would go with so many staple tops. So I'm just like, hmm, should I, shouldn't I? Let me know in the comments if you think I should keep this, but I'm defo keeping the top. So this is a bodysuit, obsessed with the colour, I love lilac, this is an extra small to small. I would say this fits true to size or maybe a little bit on the tighter side, but it's kind of one of those things that makes you feel secure and cinched in, so I think it fits perfectly. Really, really flattering, perfect colour for spring. I also love the lace detailing, I think that's such a cute touch. And yeah, I definitely recommend this, I'm sure they have this in different colours too. So as you can see, this is a suit. Suits are so in at the moment. I will million percent will not be keeping the set because I just don't tend to go for the type of co but I would definitely consider keeping a blazer and wearing it with some like black trousers or something and a nice basic top. The color is my favorite for spring. Like this is literally, I don't know what type of blue this is, but I don't, is it duck egg blue? literally don't know but this color just makes me so so happy i think it's the most beautiful thing and i keep seeing so many clothes in this color that i want and i'm just like help but if you are a suit wearer this one is absolutely gorgeous it's really comfortable if you have a small waist and bigger hips bum thigh area then the trousers probably won't work for you like they're not for me and there's no belt hooks which is a bit of a problem so i wouldn't keep the trousers anyway but that's just a heads up if you do have a similar figure to me this top is the one that i kept for my part one of the haul it's just a basic strappy top so cute and yeah i'm literally obsessed with how this looks but it's just not practical for me to keep both. So 
we have this beautiful blue color again it's just a little bit deeper i love this style of dress i don't know why i just love blue with white i think it looks amazing together and it also gives a kind of sporty vibe in a way but not too much because it isn't like full on stripes it's just a little bit of detail as usual got this in a small but i feel like there's a lot of excess fabric on the back of it it doesn't really seem to me as much as i'd like so i potentially have to go down to an extra small but then i feel like that would be too tight on my thighs so i don't know if any of the sizes would work for me but if you have a different figure this dress is beautiful it's so so comfortable as well and i just think it would be such a staple i definitely wear this with my white new balance or some kind of nice white sandals or if i had white air force i think they'd look amazing especially the ones that have like the light blue tick oh my god together don't get me started but yeah very cute but i will not be keeping It was only a matter of time until the hair had to go up, it starts to get bigger and bigger and I'm like, nope. So, my hair is up, but I feel like this outfit actually looks really cute. I think I'd have to go down to an extra small because this bit is probably meant to be more cinched than it is, like it's not even barely touching my stomach. But I think the whole concept of this dress, I've seen a lot of these all over the place. I think they're so flattering and I love the concept because I'm someone who loves the look of like oversized shirt dresses on other people. But on me, I won't wear it unless I have a belt because I feel like otherwise it gives me no shape and makes me look swamped. But with this, it literally does the job of a belt but making it more fashionable. I absolutely love it and I think in an extra small it would fit perfect because even this bit is gaping. So I'd say potentially size down in this dress or maybe if you're in between sizes at least then go for the smaller size um, because it does come up quite big at least on me anyways because literally you could get rid of all that and then it would fit perfect. This is it from the side and the back. But at this point, you guys know I love blue, so nothing wrong with the colour, just the fit is a little bit too big. Otherwise, I probably would have kept it. I feel like this dress is so, so pretty to look at, but this is the reason why we have YouTube polls, because this dress does not fit well. Like, this is gaping. I feel like even if I had nipple tape on or whatever it is, I would still not feel comfortable wearing this. It's like there's so much excess fabric at the top, but then round here fits absolutely perfect, like an actual dream. This dress is £50 anyway, so I'm not going to lie, I was never planning to keep this. Like, I would not spend that much on a dress if I'm not going to wear it often. But again, I love the concept of it. I'm really liking these blazer-style dresses. Does anyone else do this? You literally try and shove something over your head, nearly break your arms about five times, hear your body crack all over the place, and then realise there's a zip. If that ain't me with everything, I actually need to start using my eyes a bit more. But yeah, I absolutely love red dresses. I think they're beautiful, but this one, the fit does not work for me. But again, the concept is definitely there. I don't know why, but this dress makes me want to laugh. Like, it is actually a really nice dress and it fits so nicely. This part's really supportive. I don't feel like I need a bra or even nipple covers because there's a lot of kind of rib material so you wouldn't see any nipples. And this part is obviously glorious. It literally is the colour of Cinderella's dress. This is perfect on a holiday when you're nice and bronze and like you're walking along the sea on an evening going for cocktails and you might have a fluffy hat on or something. I just think it's perfect for holiday but your girl's not going on holiday this year so. So not really much reason for me to keep it but if you are going on holiday this year, I definitely suggest this and I think they have different colours too. This piece is disappointing to me because it literally gives me no shape at all. I look drowned. Kind of reminds me of like a bedtime onesie. I don't know why they haven't put any stitching in the waist, but of course I'm going to add a belt because that is how I'd wear it. Let me know if you agree, but I just feel like on its own like this, it would not flatter any body type. Like, it's just so straight up, straight down, so much excess material. If they would have added like a tie belt or something, I think that would have been so cute, but no sign of it. And now I'm literally in love with it. It's crazy how much one accessory can literally switch something up completely. I would definitely keep this if it looked like this. I'm just considering whether to now because obviously it hasn't got belt hooks so it's like awkwardly like this. If anyone has any hacks for how to make a belt look good when you haven't got belt hooks, let me know because I have no idea. But honestly, this is such a nice outfit. And I think with the bag, because it's gold and then gold and then black, with some black and gold sandals, like, can you imagine? I really want to keep this. I literally think this is beautiful. I'm so shook at how much it's transformed it. Should I keep it? Thank you guys so much for checking out my haul today. And do make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.